I'm not going to land on that sundew because I've seen others bigger than me unable to get away from its really sticky leaves. But it can't live anywhere else than wet places like the bog. Whoa, whoa, look! Here's Ireland's only reptile, the common lizard. I like to see him on the bog because elsewhere he's not as common as his name would suggest, mainly because of housing developments and probably too many cats. <laughs> now, that's what I like to see, the pink hairy flowers of the bog bean. Because, just like me, it really favors open pools and bogs such as Clara provide. But these need to be protected. <laughs> I know I'm in the right place when I see tufts of cotton grass. Because its air-filled root cells give it oxygen and provide a home for dew beetles. Two bog species for the price of one. Hey, whoa, whoa. What's, what's that croaking noise? Oh, it's the clunky common frog. But I guess he has got something to complain about, since all of his usual hangouts like ponds are becoming fewer and fewer. You can help by making a garden pond of your own. Now, there's something I haven't seen for quite some time. An Irish hare, which are becoming scarcer. Perhaps because their habitat, like this bog, is becoming more and more restricted. Ah! Here's one that thinks I'm a ready-made meal. But thankfully, the merlin prefers to get his beak into something bigger like a small bird or mammal. See that fence post over there? That's his dinner table, where he brings his prey to feed on, tearing up his food into little tiny pieces, and he would swallow me in one gulp. What's that smell? Oh, wait, I know. It's the strong-smelling bog myrtle. It stinks! But it does seem to ward off some illnesses and the plentiful midges on the bar. <laughs> there are plenty of emperor moths to go around. Just so long as we keep lots of different plants for them to feed on. Woo! I am hungry. And I could gobble up that moth right now. If only it didn't have those big, scary eye spots on its wings. <laughs> Oh, look over there. See that bird with the big long legs and the big curved beak? That's a curlew. I'm going to keep well clear of him because he thinks I'm lunch. But he's having a really hard time with people taking up all of his favorite places. 